It's the biggest film I've ever done. Blows me away. Almost overwhelming. 两千年《神鬼战士》Gladiator 横空出世，让多少平时不轻谈的男儿泪也止不住的流。Are you not entertained? 电影最后票房逼近五亿美金，更拿下五座奥斯卡，还有一炮而红，成为性感偶像的 Russell Crowe。相隔二十四年，导演 Ridley Scott 终于带着续集回来了。接续在首集十六年后的故事，有大战，有决斗，当然绝对少不了的是这里。在第一集拍摄的同一个地方，雷利打造的四五层楼高、百分之六十的罗马竞技场，绵延八公里的罗马场景，根本一走进去就入戏。It was such an emotional ride for us as an audience to revisit the strength and honor of this series. I can imagine how emotional you were. When you walk onto the arena one more time after all these years, I tried to be very cool about it, and I couldn't. I just couldn't be. I totally felt so moved walking into that arena again after a quarter century, a whole life almost for me. You know, with children and other films, and then go back into that space was. Almost overwhelming. I think it was just walking around Rome. I mean, he built this entire, or what felt like an entire city, and just being a part of that. I've said it before. It's, it's, it's the biggest film I've ever done. Biggest film I've ever been a part of. I will never forget that moment. I also will never really be able to process that moment. It was so staggering. I mean, Ridley built Rome, and and the Colosseum was built in the very same spot that it was. Over 20 years ago, for the first film, so we are literally standing in the legacy、um, of of ancient Rome, of this of this、uh, you know first monumental depiction.、Um, yeah, it was, it was an extraordinary experience to see the Colosseum、uh, in actuality built around you. You know, so it was so convincing, so utterly convincing. Did you try to stay there or any corner of the any set more than you needed to feel the vibe? I will say time really disappeared because, unlike certain other sets, Ridley builds an environment that is 360. You know, the universe is complete. You look to your left, and there are hundreds of people that are fully committed and in, in in the zone of the time period. You look to your、uh, right, and there's. Animals running around, gladiators fighting, and and so you you the the part of your brain that has to、uh, generally keep the reality of the movie alive, you don't have to work as hard. You can you can really bring your interior life and your character to life because because the exterior world has been developed and、uh, illustrated all around you. I walked onto the set and they had just been dressing it for a big scene of mine. And so it was strewn with rose petals all over the arena, and so it also was just extra gorgeous and beautiful to walk in there. And I was not wearing my costume; I was just wearing my sweats, and and still I was just walking around in there, going, "Wow, wow." 别说大场面依旧震撼人心，光是看到康妮回归就让像爆片一样的忠实影迷很想哭啊 ！What was the best gladiator fan encounter?、Um, throughout the years, it's the small moments that that I'm reminded of. It's when people come up to me in a supermarket, and they just very quietly say to me,、oh, "You know, when you said those words, I felt heard. I felt like you were talking to me, and it made me feel." So relieved that someone else felt that way, and those things matter to me. The the people who felt that the movie spoke to them about human freedom and sacrifice in the name of a greater ideal, that was what people took away from the first one as well, and I that moves me. Yeah, I got goosebumps when you just say that. 而且观众不知道的是，康妮本来就是一个罗马迷，厉害到直接变成剧组的罗马顾问小帮手侯赛雷。You're an unofficial consultant on ancient Rome details for the first one. How about this time? Did you wear your own collection of jewelry for Lucilla? I did not, but、um, I was working with the same costume designer, 
And once again, I brought a lot of research into the culture of ancient Rome and the thinking, the way people were thinking and what type of, uh, what type of gods were they praying to and why? What was the purpose uh, for each, each ceremony? Um, what was the personal relationship with faith? And so I wanted to bring that into the character in the way she spoke as well. They can eat war. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look so different from the movie. <laughs> I don't have a monkey on my shoulder and no red hair. Big differences. I kept asking myself, is the monkey real during the screening? And after I did my research, the monkey is real. What a collaboration. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is uh, not every day do you get to collaborate so closely with a monkey. So to be honest, did she drive you crazy sometimes? Honestly, no. Um, I arrived a few weeks early to do training and preparation with Sherry is the name of the monkey that played Dondis. Dondis is the character, but uh, Sherry, she's a lovely monkey, a lovely uh, uh, actor, actress in her own right. Um, so we spent a couple weeks training together, getting comfortable, making sure that I felt comfortable, she felt comfortable, um, and by the time that we were filming, I, uh, I felt like we were, uh, you know, actual friends. <laughs> so, you know, we, we developed we develop that, that bond, that relationship. I think nerves are a big part of it. I mean, on a production like this, if I'm being honest with you, I, I, I was nervous every day. Um, I, I, I kept trying to muscle my way through, but, but, but I think at the, you have to, I think you have to accept your nerves and figure out a way to um, use them, to, you know, use them to push you to go further, use them to come up with choices that uh, really you feel you can stand by and are the truth of the scene. So uh, I, was, uh, I was no stranger to my nerves on this production. <laughs> Hi, Taiwan. Um, thank you so much for, uh, for, for watching this. And uh, I really hope that you see Gladiator 2 on the biggest screen possible. Um, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we did making it. Hi, Taiwan. I wish I was there in person, and thank you so much for showing up for our films. I so appreciate it.